Well, the House of Representatives now approving a bill today that would well, ban the sale of flavored tobacco products like menthol cigarettes and flavored e-cigarettes. The move comes amid a push to weaken the vaping epidemic among young people. New here at 11, WAT6 on your side, reporter Elizabeth Kubel. Joining us here in the studio after hearing what some in our area think about this new legislation. Well, though some standing firmly behind this move, others having mixed emotions. The bill still has to go before the Senate, but what the House approved today would place new restrictions on the marketing of e-cigarettes and ban flavors in tobacco products. As you can see, we have hundreds of pipes. A full-service tobacco shop in Knoxville, but Smokies primarily sells premium cigars. My father's cigar, mm -hmm. and it's the best-selling cigar in the store. The owner, closely watching legislation pushed forward in the House on Friday, banning flavored tobacco products and viewing it with mixed emotions. They finally have recognized that there is a difference, that premium cigars are not vape. Premium cigars are not flavored cigars. Premium cigars do not fit the categories of what young people are out to buy. That's what Dave Watson calls a good part of the bill, but the bad, he says. If you have a flavored pipe tobacco, that's lumped in with vape. That's lumped in with flavored cigars. And so that's a bad thing because it's not clear. We have people making these decisions that don't understand the industry or its products. This move is, is a step in the right direction for public health and to protect our adolescents. Stephanie Stratner, the executive director of nonprofit ASAP of Anderson, standing behind the legislation. The group aims to reduce and prevent substance misuse in Anderson County, even recently heading to Washington to advocate for vaping legislation. The more we can limit um, the, the flavored, whether it's traditional tobacco or the e-cigarette pods, the fewer adolescents are going to engage in the initiation of use. And the, the longer we can delay initiation, we know science supports the fewer people are going to continue using throughout their lifetime. Any decision that our leaders make that supports and enables younger people to make healthy choices is something that we can always support. And the House approving the bill 213 to 195, sending it now to the Senate where approval is considered unlikely. Bo. All right, Elizabeth, thank you.